My name is Youngway Koo, kicker for the Atlanta Falcons. I am Korean American. So here is Youngway Koo. Kick by Koo is away, and it is go. I am most proud of the fact that South Korea is such a small country, but we are into so many different things. There's K-pop, K-drama. I see Sunny doing well with football over there. Just seeing everybody doing such great things across the board is uh, pretty unique. Growing up in Korea, it was definitely a little different than it is in America. I did play soccer growing up in Korea. I think my parents saw the athleticism and potential there, so I'm just grateful for the opportunity that I got. And that was the bridge for me with the culture gap and language barrier. So it definitely helped me immerse myself into a new culture and adapt. 2% of the NFL is made up of Asian Americans and to be a part of that is an honor and it's a blessing. And I'm just grateful for other people that helped me get here and to be in this position to use my platform to impact the next generation. My name is Tulito Pelotu, DN at the Los Angeles Chargers, and I'm Tony. The Chargers select Tuli to e Pelotu. My cousin, Tano Hufanga, and my brother, Marlon Tupoto. We all played at USC, and my freshman year, I was able to like, start the third game, so it was like a big moment for all of us. We all got a picture together. That's one picture that's like really important, because like it's just catching that big moment for us. I think the most exciting thing about playing for the Chargers next season is just being home, being able to have my family come over to all the home games, and being able to, to make a play, and like be able to throw up the team, and like just trying to spread, talking culture around, and letting people know that there are good Tongan players in the league, especially because in LA there's a big Tongan community here. So hopefully all the LA Tongans is watching and knowing that I'm trying to represent for everybody. My advice to upcoming uh, Pontiac players is uh, keep being you, embrace the culture. You don't have to change for nothing. And just know that you're not only playing for yourself, you're playing for the Polynesian culture. And hey, just keep trying to succeed and keep going. I'm Sandra Douglas Morgan, president of the Las Vegas Raiders, and I'm a proud black and Korean American. The president of the Las Vegas Raiders, Sandra Douglas Morgan. My mother is a first generation Korean American and being able to share in her perspective of gaining citizenship here in the U.S. and also raising children here during a time where maybe, um, you know, multiracial children and marriages weren't as accepted, but just her strength and resilience and encouragement and support of me and my sister is something that I'm just incredibly proud of. This is really a time that I'm seeing inclusion really being embraced. And it's something that I hope that we can all lean into and use to support each other. It's important to me to be able to provide greater visibility of Asian Americans, whether it be in sports and management, just in more leadership positions. It's important that we recognize and know that our differences are what actually makes us stronger. And so I'm just really happy to know that the NFL and obviously the Raiders are shining a light on the API community's contributions to our society. My name is Talano Hufanga, play safety for the San Francisco 49ers, and I'm half Tongan. Hufanga picking it off. Representing the Tongan community in the NFL is a, is a huge honor. I take a lot of pride in what I'm able to do and the platform that I have to bring the culture to light and be able to be an advocate for the people back home. Each time that I make a play, I try to give a shout out to the Tongan community. You know, we don't get a lot of light shined on us. And so for us to, to continue to pave the way, like the people that have played before me, like Troy, like Junior, we just want to continue to be the best versions of ourselves and our culture and show a good light on it. Respect is super deep into the culture. Uh, something that represents who you are, who your family is, and you know where you're from. Something that the Polynesian culture definitely puts at the top. My message is mainly would just be, you know, have faith, uh, continue to be obedient to the process. You know, put the work in, and when you do those things and you combine it together, great things will happen. My name is Sean Desai. I'm the defensive coordinator for the Philadelphia Eagles, and I am Indian. What I'm most proud of that's unique to my culture is its diversity and its tradition. If you can ever make friends with an Indian person, make them early when they get married so you get invited to their wedding. It's an awesome display of the richness of the family environment, the culture, the tradition, the food, kind of everything at its best. Being the first NFL coordinator of Indian descent, I mean, it's extremely humbling. It's an honor and there's a big responsibility that comes with it because you're trying to represent a 
group of people and you're trying to uphold that responsibility and do a good job in your role. So anytime you're trying to reach higher levels, you need people around you that have access to those levels and that help you and bring you along and promote you to these new roles. And you can create some roadways and pathways for access for other people that come up behind you to feel like they have access to some of these same opportunities. My name is Bradley Nye. I'm a defensive end for the New York Jets, and I am Samoan and Cook Island Mountie. What I'm most proud of that's unique to my culture has to be the aspect of family and how important it is. We value family almost over everything, and it's very important to help each other out, and we just got each other's back through and through. I was very excited to see how many Polynesians this year were drafted. I think representation for the Polynesian community is very important. There is a lot of young Polynesian kids out there that have aspirations and dreams to play in the NFL. Instilling in these kids, hey, dream big, work hard, because whether it works out or it doesn't, they will take valuable lessons with them throughout their lives. My name is Alohi Gilman. I play defensive back for the LA Chargers, and I am Hawaiian. Growing up in, in Laie on Oahu, we didn't have much technology. I didn't grow up with video games and TV, really. We were outside in the mountains, in the beach. I probably learned how to surf when I was three years old, so it was part of our lifestyle. Being raised in Hawaii and understanding who you are encompasses a lot, but it's everything, you know, understanding your culture, understanding that you represent something bigger than yourself, understand that you represent a lineage of people and your ancestors that have came before you, Kupuna. And as you do that and put that forward and understand who you are, you're able to live up to that even more, to really embrace what it means to be Polynesian. Going forward with love, respect, responsibility, and Hawaiian aloha. And as you do those things, it's impactful and it's powerful. That's how my parents taught me. So that's just a part of who I am. And I definitely look up to those people before me and I respect them and honor them. And hopefully I can continue that legacy representing them, representing the Polynesian community and representing my family.